just to show you quickly, we've got the game absolutely maxed out. We've turned everything on and up as much as we possibly can do. And downloaded a texture pack from Ooh, Steam. And downloaded a texture pack. Running on a 7950. It's the Club 3D one we reviewed recently. 4.6 gigahertz, 3960x, 16 gigabyte of Corsair Platinum Dominator. Pretty looking, lovely, spangly stuff. Um, Asus Rampage 4 Extreme Motherboard. Right, so, Steve, this is Sleeping Dogs, yeah? Yeah, this is where dogs sleep. Oh, right. Don't they sleep in kennels? They tend to sleep in kennels, but in this game, they sleep in Hong Kong. Oh, right. I think it's, it's called Sleeping Dogs because the main thug you're against is called Dog Eyes or something like that. Oh, right. Does he go to sleep a lot? I, no, I don't think I've seen him. I, he might have been the guy with the like, fedora kind of style cowboy type hat thing on at the start. I, oh, right. I don't remember. What type of frames per second have we been getting out of this? 30s, 25s, roughly. Was that uh, in-game with it all maxed out, or was that when we were recording, though? That was in-game all maxed out. Bloody hell, so it's actually quite a demanding game, then. Yeah. It, it, I've got to admit, though, it does look a lot like um, Grand Theft Auto. It, it is very much like Grand Theft Auto, but like it's got some extra zing and sparkle from like, sort of like Batman if you want, and also because you're a cop, it's a bit like true crime as well. You're like a cop slash gang person. You're trying to infiltrate when you're a cop, so you got to stick to some laws at the same time as break some laws. Is it run on the same engine as Grand Theft Auto? Is that why it looks so similar? No, it's not at all. I have no idea what engine this is run on. But the the game style is similar. The um yeah, cause it's, it, later on we see a lot of kind of like just roaming around the city, don't we? Yeah, that's called a sandbox game. That's where you can just free roam anywhere you like, open field if you want. Because this has got quite a lot of kind of like freestyle kind of. And by freestyle, I mean you call it parkour. Yeah, you know? yeah. But yeah, like kind of street running type stuff. Yeah, it is a good way to get around. I like it. Nice and smooth, fluid animations everywhere. And this is where it starts to look a little bit like Batman. You kind of attack with the left click, and then when they glow red, it means you have to click the other button to counter-attack them, which I'm not that great as. <laughs> great at. I think this is the first fight. The second fight, there's a lot of funny stuff in there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Thing is, though, now you've said Batman, all I'm thinking is, kapow! Poff! Kasploosh? He does it. Kersplat! <laughs> Doof! It, it's got a few more like things that Batman doesn't have because all Batman has is literally left click, right click. This, you, oh, obviously, yeah, you've got like your abilities you can use, like your back claw and stuff. But this has got like a few more fighting ones, like you can pick people up, grab them, run them along, throw them at things. Yeah, we show that later on. Oh no, here we go. In there he goes. Yeah, I think you have to do that one to actually get up here. I think this is the good bit, isn't it? Yeah. There's some really nice fighting bits in this bit. We were watching it before. As we're, he's playing and fighting now, look for things to start flashing red. And when you do that in the game, you get extra points if you like stuff them into stuff. Look, there you go, look. Oh yeah! Blood and head guts everywhere! He has no face <laughs> left. Face blender. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nicely broken leg. <laughs> Where's the one you stick his head in the fan? Uh, oh, double kick! That's right, yeah. Oh, no, this bit's brilliant. Watch his legs afterwards. Let me out! Let me out! Help! Help me! <laughs> One of the things you need to kind of bear in mind, guys, is the game's completely maxed out. Um, as we've already said, we're only getting sort of like 30 to 40 frames a second on the 7950. But we're still managing to record this with fraps because we've recorded it and now we're watching it and narrating over the top. Um, so the 7950, it's more than capable of absolutely maxing this card out. And 
one of the reasons why we, we've done the, the game footage and stuff is because of the AMD Never Settle um, campaign that's on at the moment where you get this and uh, a selection of other games as well. You can get Far Cry Hitman and Medal of Honor Warfire, the good new Medal of Honor game, free if you buy a 7950 or a 7970. Do you get all of them? Yeah, all four. That's like that's like a hundred plus quid. Of, wait, wait. No, PC games are about twenty nine ninety nine when they're new, aren't they? Yep. So that's that's a good chunk of money. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, pretty much all the cards that they sell, uh, the absolute minimum that you get is the Medal of Honor Warfighter, which I can't believe they're giving away because I think that's a really nice game. Yeah. You can get that for a sixty quid card. Ah, watch what we do with the copper, or rather, watch what Steve does with the copper. <laughs> Look, in the car door. Doosh, doosh, doosh. <laughs> now I don't like this bit. I love doing this. This is funny. <laughs> it looks like he's going to hump her in the street. And because okay, you're a cop. watch where the helmet comes from. He pulls it out of his ass cheeks. There it is, straight from his back pocket. I just think it's great because, like, you never see that in a game. You can <laughs> actually wear a helmet. I mean. Yes, I guess you're a policeman, so you kind of have to stick to your laws in some respects, but also you're a gang, so you've got a speed as well. See, this bit makes me think Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Hijacking cars. Just the way it kind of looks like it's playing as well. Oncoming traffic. That's it. Watch for the car trick. Whee! I love how that works. <laughs> <laughs> If you wheelie up to the cars in oncoming traffic, the quicker you go, the higher and the further you go, and you literally you use the car like a ramp. I love the way that the game actually spoke to me. I was like, I wonder if that would work, <laughs> and it did. <laughs> My spidey sense is tingling. <laughs> da -da 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 -da! Oh, that's the one with the weird landing in it. Yeah. And he survives. <laughs> Air brakes. All the pretty little lights everywhere. Look at them. Shiny. I'd love to go to Hong Kong. Why? Because there's so much neon. I'm like a, oh. I'm like a moth. I'm just attracted to. Nothing to do with <laughs> ladies in bars and stuff. Then. Well, no, that's the nice bottom up there. You do realise London looks like that sometimes. I've never been abroad. <gasps> <laughs> It's like we're doing an interview with you now. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the project. <laughs> ah, this is the fight. This was basically, they've got a, a bus full of people and they're driving them around the city to drop them off to go and fight with certain people. It's the, one of the challenges that's in the game. I think they're on our territory, so get a couple of our gang members to sort them out. There are quite a lot of missions like this based on going to steal stuff, going to kick, uh, kill people or beat the living bejesus out of them. Taking money from um, like shop stalls and stuff. It's like protection money. It's basically yeah. like a mafia racket, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I hate the ones that defend like that. They're like, you can't touch me. Turns out I can't. On your ass. But anyway, lady boys and gentle peeps, as you can see, the 7950 actually plays this game, even completely maxed out, 1920 by 1080, absolutely perfectly fine. And if you were to buy a 7950 or a 7970 for the next three weeks, I think it's the middle of December the promotion ends, you get this game alongside um, Hitman, Far Cry 3 and Medal of Honor for free. I think the video's ending quick, I should have said it quicker. Oh, bollocks.